What's going on, y'all? Comedian Lonnie here, bringing y'all another weekly vlog. What's on today's topic? Don't put the pussy on a pedestal. Yes, I said it. Don't put the pussy on a pedestal. Now, what does that mean exactly? Fellas, I know some of y'all are looking at that girl. She might be bad and she might have everything you want, but you just cherish her and worship her a little too much than she really deserves. Don't do it. I'm not saying treat her like shit, but I'm saying don't put the pussy on a pedestal. Don't praise her for she has to prove herself first. How about we say that? I'm gonna tell y'all a story about when I first lost my innocence and I realized you can't put the pussy on a pedestal. What happened? This is in honor of spring break. I know everybody on spring break partying it up right now. Bitches, liquor, money, niggas, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, I'm gonna just tell y'all the story about what happened to me when I was on spring break. So I'm down in Miami with my friends. We bought a mansion. We rented a mansion. It was a mini mansion. It had about four or five bedrooms, had a pool in the backyard, a uh, kitchen, living room, TV, like all of this stuff. It was it was overlooking the pier, so we, we could have had a boat out there if we wanted, but niggas ain't had that kind of money. So we're partying in the mansion. The mansion is on North Beach. Most people go to South Beach to party, but our mansion was on North Beach. So anyway, so we're taking shots and one of my good friends, we're still good friends to this day. She doesn't know I know this story, so enjoy me telling you guys this story. Her and this guy, they had they were new into a relationship. They had to have been like maybe a month or two into a relationship. Obviously they were talking for longer than that, but they were they announced their relationship and they were like a month in. So I'm like, you trust him to be in a different city? Like what if he has sex with another girl? Like it's a crazy time. You know how people get on spring break, yada yada yada. What if you have sex with somebody? And she looked me in my eyes, y'all. I will never forget this. She looked me in my eyes and she said to me, Lonnie, I love him so much, I would never disrespect him and I would never do anything, anything that would hurt him in any way. I would never cheat on him or anything. She looked me in my eyes and I felt every word she said. I said, damn, I need me a ride or die girl like that. I need someone that would go great lengths to not disrespect me or cheat on me in such a severe time, such a spring break, cause we all know niggas be slanging a dick and girls be throwing them draws. Let's be real about it, all right? She just reassured me that all girls were good creatures, were pure hearted good creatures. Now let me tell y'all, 30 fucking minutes later, she's taking one of my guy friends that was in the mansion with us upstairs with another one of her friends to have a threesome. One man's queen could be another man's hoe. At first, I didn't believe it. That was the moment when I lost my innocence and I was like, you know what? You can't put the pussy on a pedestal. That was the hardest thing in life for me to overcome. I always wanted to believe that girls were pure hearted and they always had like a guy's best intention at heart. No. The older I got, the more I started seeing like these hoes really ain't loyal. Niggas ain't shit, but these hoes really ain't loyal. I'm telling y'all, I've had so many friends that have slept with girls who have boyfriends, it's ridiculous. That was the hardest life lesson that I ever had to learn. I still struggle with it today because it, it baffles me the amount of girls who are willing to do some dirty shit and still have boyfriends. I can't really blame girls either because guys, we don't respect girls in relationships. Let's be honest. How many of y'all girls then heard this line after you tell a dude that you got a boyfriend so you can't have friends? Niggas don't try to be no friends. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all watch any of these videos right here. The links will be down in the description down below. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment down below. Give me some topics that y'all want me to talk about. I'll catch y'all next week with another vlog.